Okay, so in this video we're going to see how we can also use animations applied to buttons. If you remember, we also created this button and the idea was to, to play an animation but also adding some kind of interactivity when we press the, the button. So just to recap a little bit, if we, if we go back here in Spine to the animate mode, the first animation is just the, the start button animation and let's play it a, a little bit. So the idea is that this animation gets played once and when the button gets played here in the middle of the screen we then call the second animation which is called animation 2 and that one is going to play indefinitely. So here it is. And so that's it. So let's Let's work on that with code. So let me, I already did, did this as a test, so let me, let me do it again for you. So the first thing I need is to, just to make sure that I have the right spine JSON, the, the JSON, the correct JSON file, this, the image sheet name, the texture log file, everything is is correct. We are going to play the start button animation I just, as I just mentioned uh, a moment ago and I don't want this animation to be looped so this is going to be false. So let's let's create our instance for the button. So. Let me close Spine because it's making my my computer very slow. All right. So here, what I'm doing here is I am placing the the button in the middle of the screen on the x on the x axis, but on the y button on the on the y axis I'm placing the animation at the bottom of the screen, which is uh, a little bit it's right here. So let me play this for you. So there you have it. Once I restart the uh, the simulator, you can see that the animation plays once and then it stops and it stays there. So now let's add the the second animation after let's say uh, one point seconds after the the first animation stops. So so let's do that. Okay, so let's review this. So all I'm doing is using the method change animation, and I am passing a table with two parameters. One is the name of the new animation, and whether or not I want the new animation to be looped. So let's go quickly here to Spine Helper to find that the change animation method.
Okay, so here it is. So this is the method. And as you can see, the only required parameter is the name of the new animation. Because by default, it's assuming that it's going to be loop. So it's very easy. So let's save that. And once I saved, you'll be able to see that the animation, the first animation plays once. And one and a half seconds later, the second animation is going to be played indefinitely. So let's 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 do that. And there you have it. The second animation gets played forever. So in the next video, what we're going to do is add uh, a touch event to the button so that we can do uh, basically what, whatever we want with, uh, with, with the touch event. So that's going to be in the, the next video.